games. What are your well, memories of, of that game? I know it's a while ago now, but what, what stands out for you from that one? Um, I feel like that was the beginning of, of Doncaster's success. Uh, or the, the, the sort of the Sean O'Driscoll era mm. we'd sort of got to that final and it was a fantastic sort of day out for everybody and I think to win that sort of for me personally it, it, was, it was the beginning I felt like, uh, like the, the taste for success I wanted more and then I think the year after or two years after we went and got promoted to the championship and um with the majority of the squad that won won the Johnson's paint, so yeah, it was it was a fantastic day. Obviously, Spike uh, Graham Lee, who, who's from Middlesbrough, scored the winner um, in extra time, which which was fantastic for him. Um, and Neil Sullivan to win his first major trophy at his age, um, it was amazing to see how much it meant to him. I always remember how happy he was. And I'm thinking that he's played in the Premier League for Tottenham, Chelsea, Wimbledon. Um, and to see how, how happy he was to win to win the Johnson Paint Trophy was amazing. Obviously, going two 0 up and then getting pegged back to all, it could have been quite easy to to give it up. Um, but to go on and, and win it after extra time was was amazing. What do you remember about the build up to that game? I know it was one of the last couple of finals at the Millennium Stadium, wasn't it? And and the whole of Doncaster seemed to be there on that. I know they were outnumbered by the the Bristol Rovers fans but they certainly made a lot of noise and what do you remember sort of a couple of days and, and the morning leading up to the game was it nerves or excitement for you going into that one? I think a bit of both I think more excitement to be honest um, and I think that's that's the inspiration that you need I know I've said it there but as a, as a young player um, playing in games like that you just think wow this is this is amazing this is what it's what football is all about. I, I want more of this. It gives you that sort of carrot to go and, and do it. Um, and like you said, the, the evidence is there. The season or season after we, we did it. Um, but it's definitely excitement with a little bit of nerves as you're going out. But as soon as the game kicks off, it's um, focusing on the game. And, and like you say, afterwards, it's just it was just a great evening and a great night. Um yeah, to win something like that with that group of players was was very special. Was Sean a big help in in the sort of calming influence that he had in the dressing room and, and not getting no well, making sure players weren't too nervous going into that? Um, I think Sean was always like that. That was his demeanour. That was his his character. He, he sort of never never got too high, never got too low. Um, but yeah, sort of going into that game, we were confident. Obviously, we were the higher league team I think Bristol Rovers were in league 2 at the start, at the, t- at the time um, so we were going in confident but like I say to go 2-0 up I think we we sort of thought we'd won it um, and then to get back, pegged back to 2-all it was a great test of character and yeah we, we like I say we come out at the end and I know you mentioned Graham Lee you played with him at, at Hartlepool before how, how pleased were you for him to pop up with a header that won it in the end yeah, he's a fantastic captain, Spike. Um, like you say, led by example, sort of talisman figure, um, and one of the best, one of the best in the air that I've ever, I've ever come across. So for him to get on the end of Sean Thornton's corner um, was absolutely amazing, and um, yeah, I was absolutely delighted for him and his family.